Hello guys, I hope you're doing great today. Um, what I want to show you is how to add uh, Google Analytics and uh, Google Webmaster to your Shopify store. Um, so first thing is to double check if um, you have it already installed, uh, which if you're here, I doubt it. Um, but go ahead in your, in, in your admin panel, go into settings, online store and uh, and see if there's a there's already a code over here in the Google Analytics account um, another uh, another tool that you can use which is really good um, if you have Chrome or go install Chrome it's called a tag assistant um, I will I will paste the link in um, in the description below basically what it does it will tell you if uh, if you do have if you have a Google Analytics already installed and if there's some issue, errors, all of that. Um, for example, in this case, uh, on this website, I have a, a Google Analytics install and remarketing a tag also on it. Um, if I go to this one that we're gonna use today, I have nothing on it. So you can, you can double check with, with this tool if you want. Uh, in some cases, maybe a, a template uh, already has installed in your code uh, some of the um, Google Analytics information, um, or maybe a, a past developer uh, did it and it's, it's, it's there. Anyways, just double check you, you don't have it because you don't want to have uh, two different uh, Google Analytics uh, code in uh, in your store that you you will have inaccurate information on that so now let's go and get our uh, Google Analytics code um, so we can add it to uh, to our store over here so go and log in to your Google Analytics account if you don't have one obviously uh, create one then go in uh, admin you may have already some um, some some accounts here some properties if not just go in uh, in admin here in account just click here and select create a new account now um, let's just give it a name uh, where is the, um, the, the, the the website name most probably will be exactly the same thing your URL, let's just copy this. Um, are we using? No, HTTP, it's fine. No need to put the HTTPS. Um, industry, whatever. Uh, let's put other for now. Select the, your, 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 your time zone. I'm in Canada, so let me just do this. And beautiful material. It's not there, so let's select Toronto. Um, you can leave this on or off. It's, it's for whatever it's just for Google to uh, to better optimize uh, Google Analytics and make it better for uh, for everyone. They will take some information from your um, from your account uh, and some other services that they offer. So just read that. If you don't want to have it, just uncheck it. Uh, me, I leave it there. So after that, just get tracking ID. Of course, accept this. So what you want to do is copy this here. So just paste it, just select, do uh, copy. Go back in your, um, in your admin here, paste it, save. And now you have, uh, you, you, you have your Google Analytics uh, code installed on your store. Just make sure um, that this uh, this account number is 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 the right one. Thirteen one. That's fine. 
and um, make sure you don't have a password protected website because obviously Google Analytics won't be able to get data from uh, from your store um, so password shouldn't be uh, there, there should be no password on on your website that's that so this is saved let's see if if the Chrome is actually that quick and can see right away. Yeah, cool. So now it's installed. It's all green, it's all fine. Um, so basically that's it. That's how you install, um, that's how you install Google uh, Analytics on your Shopify store. And uh, be aware that it will take maybe a few hours, few days, to uh, before you get some information in uh, in your Google Analytics account, uh, it will not happen right away. So just give it a, a day or two before you can see some information there. Okay, so now let's see how to add Google Webmaster, uh, which by the way it's not called Webmaster anymore. It's 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 Search Console. I think they changed it last year. Um, so um, I, I will put a link in, in the description for both Google Analytics and the Search Console. Um, again, go uh, and cre create an account. Um, it, it should be linked to the same uh, email that you're using for your Google Analytics. Uh, they should both be linked together. It's just going to be much easier. Um, quick overview of, of, of the Search Console itself. It's a great tool just to um, to monitor your website, uh, make sure everything it's it's okay. Uh, sometimes Google will send you messages if you have some errors, like crawl errors. Um, you can have some. Uh, you can sum submit your, your 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 site map. You can submit different URL from your website so Google. Um, the, the, the Google bot can can crawl it much faster and, and more accurately. You have some information on uh, on searches that a clients and customer visitors perform on your website. Um, you will have uh, an idea of the keywords they're using to uh, to, to get to your uh, to, to your website. So let's go back to the dashboard um, and. Sorry, let's go back over here, Search Console. Uh, maybe you have something here, maybe you don't. Just click on Add uh, a Property. We're gonna use the same, the same URL that we had before. So let's do this. Okay, continue. Pum, 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 pum. And the easiest uh, way to, to, to verify it is with, uh, with Google Analytics. And that's why I recommend having the same, uh, same email, same account for both Google Analytics and Google Webmaster. Uh, like that, the, 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 the linking or the syncing between both, it, it will be much easier. Um, you, you can use that or you have some alternate methods to, uh, to do it. Uh, if you don't want to have the Google Analytics for whatever reason, um, you can also um, you can also use an alternate method. Um, in this case, I think uh, because Shopify it's, it's it's hosted, you 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 won't be able to upload a you won't be able to upload a, a file. Uh, I think the easiest way would be to just have an HTML tag add um, to the top on your uh, on your website so let's um, obviously I recommend doing it with the Google Analytics you just hit uh, you just hit verify they're gonna be linked together and uh, that's it if you do the alternate select the HTML tag um, copy this one here so um, it will have to go in in the head section of uh, of your website and before uh, before the body. So if you go in your uh, admin panel, go to online store themes, click over here, edit HTML CSS, and you will want to uh, take a look at the theme uh, layout uh, right here. So you can search for it or um, you can actually do a search and just type body. That's not what we wanted. Body. There we go. 
So you have body and you have your uh, your, your head. So basically, it should go over uh, somewhere over here. You can just paste it. Let's do save. This is okay. Don't worry for that. And um, let's see, verify. Man, it's good. So that's it. It's it's, it's as simple as that as that. Um, and now we'll be added over here. As I told you before, uh, obviously give it a few a few days to get some data out of it. And um, this is it for uh, for this week video. If you have any questions, as usual, please ask them in the comments below. You also have my, my email, my Skype, Twitter, Instagram, everything is there. Um, so don't be shy, ask me questions. As usual, please subscribe. I'm releasing videos like this each week. So like that, you won't, uh, you won't miss any of it. And uh, thank you. Have a good day.